Sally YouTube, how's it going? I just want to address something straight out the gate. Yes, I do have a blue tongue. I have been eating sour lollies. It's completely fine. Um, I was like, I really want to film for Not Even French today, but I have a blue tongue and I was like, oh, I'll do it anyway. I know, cool story, bro. So today I wanted to talk about some French insults and talk through some of my favorite French insults. I just feel like insulting yourself and others is a really big part of the French culture. And you know, when you have like those passionate moments where you're like, oh, putain, you need an insult to throw at someone, you know? I'm not, I'm not encouraging insults. I'm not encouraging you to go out there and just abuse people. But, well, you wanna know what people are saying to you first and foremost, and that's just an important part of the culture and surviving crazy life in France, you know? If you've got road rage, if you have someone that you wanna insult on the street or someone say something rude to you, you've got to be equipped, right? And part of learning a language and loving a language and enjoying a language is being able to get to these more advanced levels where you're able to do things like this. So yeah, I know that a lot of you guys really loved the video that I did with Paul Taylor, which is how to swear in French. And that's, you know, goes through the different levels of swearing in French and just being able to, you know, use a curse word out of the blue. Insults for me are different in that it's what you say to someone. It's what you call someone. It's like a label that you're putting on someone, right? So we are gonna jump right into that. But just before we do, I wanna say thank you to Lingoda, who are the wonderful sponsors of this video. And Lingoda are actually running another Lingoda sprint. And the sprint, I mean, you guys love them. I've had so many of my subscribers sign up for a sprint and take their language learning from this to this. It's basically an accelerator, a language learning accelerator over 90 days, three months, and you can get 100% cash back. So how it works is that you will know the language that you'd like to advance in, right? So if it's English or business English, by the way, you get a free Cambridge online speaking test as part of it, so that's super cool. Um, otherwise, there's German, French, and Spanish as well. And then depending on the sprint you sign up for, you can either get a 50% refund or a 100% refund upon successful completion of the sprint. And I think it works for a few main reasons. I think one of the main reasons it works is that it's online. It's an online platform connecting you with qualified native professors and it allows you to learn the language basically anytime, anywhere. And that's huge in terms of flexibility, adaptability and convenience. It's also because they're delivering at scale and they have so many professors around the world, your class size stays super small. So you've got like three students in a class on average, which means that you've got lots and lots of interaction and speaking time. And also it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced, there are lessons and modules to get through at every single level. So all the way up to the more advanced levels as well. I was personally using Lingoda to study at B1, B2 level and prepare for my French nationality exam. That's when I discovered Lingoda and I freaking loved it. So how the sprint works this time around is that it's gonna start on the 23rd of September, 2020. And there are two options. You can either do the super sprint and do 30 classes per month for three months and get a 100% cash back on successful completion. Or you can do the sprint, which is 15 classes per month for three months and you get a 50% cash back. But can you imagine up leveling your language that much and then getting your cash back? So good. So if you're a keen bean and you wanna sign up, you can use my link below to sign up before September 8th. That's the cutoff, that's the deadline. And both plans, no matter which one you choose, will require a 49 euro deposit. And then you pay in monthly installments until the three months is up. Again, Lingoda, if you complete the contest rules, Lingoda will fully give you your cash back in terms of your fees, including that deposit. But the spaces are limited because this is like a huge event that people are all over. So definitely sign up before September 8th to make sure that you secure your spot. Also guys, if you use my link and use the code SCHOOL17, it will give you 10 euros off that deposit as well anyway. So it's only 39 after all. So if you haven't really heard of Lingoda before, I would definitely recommend checking out their Instagram, reading through some of the success stories. They've been running these things for like over three years now. So there's loads of information out there so that you can read all about about it and otherwise if you're gonna sign up I hope that you have an awesome sprint good luck and let me know all about it all right so without further ado let's talk about insults in French so very very key part of the French language as I was saying before and what I noticed 
in France, especially working in France, is that there's definitely a thing around insulting yourself and that being really normal to do. Just saying, oh, like the equivalent of, oh, I'm so dumb or oh, so stupid of me and that kind of thing. And that's like normal office culture vibes. Like there'll be just people working away at their computers and insulting themselves. So why don't we start there? So things that you can say to yourself. So a classic one is like, oh la la, comme je suis bête. Comme je suis bête. Oh, I'm, je suis bête. I'm so silly. It's also linked to the word bêtise. You know in French, like when you say j'ai fait une bêtise, it's like I did something silly, like just a silly little thing. I think it's linked to that as well. So bête, it's like beast. Je suis bête, I'm a beast. <laughs> I guess literally, but yeah, that's what it means. So that's a classic one, like oh la la, je suis bête. I'm, I'm silly. You can also, just to be a bit harsher to yourself, be like, oh, quel con. Con, so con is literally it's linked, it's vagina, the JJ. So it's like the equivalent of saying, I guess, C-U-N-T in English, but it's definitely not as strong. As str it can be really strong, but it's not that strong in terms of that register of language. But that's thrown around quite commonly. So you could be like, oh, quelqu'un, like for a guy, or quelqu'un for a girl. Um, they're both are masculine and feminine there. Another one is débile. So adding quel to it is saying like what a, what an. So what an idiot, quel débile. And another one I heard quite a bit is nul. Quel nul, like just nul is, like nul literally means zero or nothing, like dumb, just dumbass basically. <laughs> I think the equivalent in English would be. So yeah, quel nul, that's, that's another one as well. Now let's move into sort of more, let's say, light insulting. So coming back to the con example, like this could be used when you're just sort of mucking around with friends and they just told a stupid joke or something. You you could be like laughing and be like, oh tu es trop con, tu es con. Like you're an you're an idiot almost. It can have that register, but I'll tell you a little bit later it can also get a lot more serious than that. So you can be just throwing it around super casually, but if you actually mean it as an insult, it can be pretty darn harsh. Another light insult is enduit, so <laughs> this means sausage, like quel enduit, like what a sausage. <laughs> Other light ones are nul again, tu es nul. Again we have nul here, like tu es nul, tu es vraiment nul toi, tu es vachement nul. Like that would be something that's like quite low level um, as an insult, again it just means like dumb. Something insulting but still in the realm of being quite polite is embêtant. So annoying. Like this would be something my husband's little cousins would say to him like, ah, oh, tu es embêtant toi, like tu es embêtant. So that one's a classic. And then we've got the equivalent of wanker, which is branleur. So branleur is the equivalent of wanker. Like what a wanker. Another insult that's sort of more of an expression is bête comme ses pieds. So bête comme ses pieds is stupid like his feet. As if like, you know, the feet being the furthest possible point from the brain. <laughs> You could even use this in a professional context. Like you could be talking about a provider or a consultant. I mean, it's not nice. It's definitely still an insult, but it's not so horrific that you couldn't use it at work kind of thing. So you could be talking about a provider or a consultant who just missed the mark yet again. And you could be like, oh, il est bête comme ses pieds. Hein? Il est vraiment, il est bête comme ses pieds. Another expression, but it's like that much harsher. This is where we're getting to the next level that you couldn't really use it in a professional setting. Would be con comme une valise. And con comme une valise is like vagina, C-U-N-T, <laughs> but not, but not, but you know, like, like a suitcase. Con, like a suitcase. Con comme une valise. Don't ask me, I don't make the rules around here. Oh, and there's another one, actually, thinking of expressions that come to mind. And this one's like the equivalent of chicken, you know, chicken, bah, 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 bah. like, you know, like being sort of a weakling or whatever, being a scaredy cat, being chicken. In French, you are a wet chicken. <laughs> so you are a poule mouillé. You gotta hand it to them. I mean, chickens are not known for their bravery. Still in the kind of entry level insults, We've got this one I find quite cute for some disturbing reason, which is cuillon or cuillon for the feminine version. And this basically means little testicle. <laughs> so that's quite a mild insult. That means something more like idiot in English. And this can be, again, this can kind of be, be like used with friends when you're joking around or they said something stupid or they're telling a story where they like, like an idiot basically. You could just be like laughing and be like, quel cuillon. Okay, moving into sort of like the next level of insults and I've got to move quick because it's winter here and like 
the sun is setting and it's getting dark, damn it. But we've got ball breaker. So there's two main ways to say this. You can say casse cuit or casse bonbon. They both mean the same thing. It means that you're a ball breaker. And this is something that, well, I mean, it's not really gendered actually, but you could definitely like my, <laughs> do I say this on YouTube? My partner's definitely called me a casse bonbon many times. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's sort of, it can also be made kind of like light-hearted, but it can also be like, oh la la la, quel casse bonbon. Similar at this level, we have emmerdeur or emmerdeuse. And if you think about it, it's like merde is shit. So it's like emmerdeuse, emmerdeuse. It's like in shitter. <laughs> That's what I think of when I hear that. So it's like shit. Maybe it's like the equivalent of shit stir. I don't know, but it's not good. It's not a good thing to be. It's being when you're highly annoying. The next one is a word that I really enjoy, which is pluk. So pluk means like a hick, basically, like a country bumpkin. And this French insult actually comes from the Britain term plu, which means regional jurisdiction. But yeah, basically means like someone's super unsophisticated and stuff. And to add it to the next level, you can add sel in the front, which is dirty. And you can be like, sel pluk. <laughs> That's pretty bad, right? I guess our equivalent would be like, dirty hillbilly or something. So let's now move on to the real insults. This is where the real stuff comes in. And we're talking like those high level insults that you're like fuming with road rage, absolutely furious, just like not a nice thing to say. So we've got the famous con, but really used properly and like actually with intention. And I like it when, well, I like it, I mean, when it has the word gros in front of it, like gros, like large, like gros con is like a really like classic one, like gros, like to un gros con toi, like that one's quite harsh, let's say. Then you've also got connard et connaisse, so like quel connard, quel connaisse, that's the equivalent of like sort of asshole and bitch, I guess. Excuse my language, I hope no sensitive ears or children are hanging out listening to this. So that one's quite bad as well. And if you've watched my video on my embarrassing moments in France, you'll see that I accidentally ended up calling someone a connard, um, just completely by mistake. So yeah, that was awesome. Another good one for your toolbox. Another insult is salo or salop. That's quite harsh as well. That's like really S-L-U-T level. This one I've heard via road rage. Um, I won't say who said it, but I was like, what does that mean? So there's PD. So PD stands for pederast, and it refers to Greek men that liked young children. So Greek pedophiles, essentially. But in the common use today, it just means like the equivalent of homo. So if you say quel PD, it's quite strong. Like quel PD on the road, road rage. That's like, Pretty bad. You've also got tête de nu. So tête de nu means like not head, but it's specifically referring to the knot being like, like in that context, being the tip of the penis. So yeah, dickhead, I guess would be, be the exact equivalent. But to be honest, it's even, it's definitely ruder than dickhead in context. You've also got put, which is, you know, you'll be familiar with putain. So put is whore. And again, if you add like sel to it, which is dirty, like sel put. Oh, that is even just saying that gives me shivers. You know, that's bad. That's really bad. And then another really strong insult is su merde. So it's not just bad enough to be a merde, like a shit, but a su merde, like you're a less than shit. So it's like you're not even worthy of being called a shit. Like that's bad guys, that's pretty, pretty bad, even for the French. And then the last one I can't really say, so I'd never use, but it's racleur. Like I say racleur, I can hear my husband in my ear right now being like, ooh, ooh, racleur, racleur. I can't do it. Like that sound doesn't exist in my, in my mouth, but I'm sure if you like Google proper pronunciation, but that's basically how it's said, racleur, no, racleur, ooh. Racleur, racleur, u, u, racleur, 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 racleur. Oh my god, I can't say it, sorry. That's not happening. But basically, long story short, that means scumbag, like real, like 
yeah it actually the actual like translation means a scraping but it's sort of like yeah you know like a scraping that you'd find at the bottom of your shoe you know what i mean like a real scumbag so there's that one as well so i hope that you've enjoyed this little journey into french insults and i think you know part of learning a language is learning this kind of stuff right what people actually say there's no point learning french for years and arriving in france just so that you can say Je voudrais du baguette, s'il vous plaît. Like, you know, we can do better than that. So <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this journey into the French language a bit. And again, if you guys really want to boost your language learning and do something cool for you over the next few months, definitely check out the Lingoda Sprint. Again, it doors close September 8th. So click the link down below, use my coupon code to get 10 euros off and enjoy accelerating in your chosen language. So with all that said and done, I hope that you guys are doing really well. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover, any questions that you have about France, French culture, life in New Zealand, all of that jazz. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. A bientôt!